<laughs> Namaste. Namaste. So wonderful <laughs> meeting you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Pritaji. Yes. What is the purpose of your journey? The purpose of my life is to be a great mother, a wonderful wife, a great leader who supports every individual whom we work with and to create individuals around the world who live in a beautiful state and create a beautiful world. <laughs> so my journey, my purpose is to make sure that we create individuals, we make or help individuals to live in a beautiful state so that they can be a source of great peace in the world, they can be a source of great love in the world. people suffering. It's a moment, I think, it's a moment of uh, strong tension. Uh, what is your thought about it? Absolutely. Actually, uh, looking at the people around the world in all my travels, I have seen people, everyone is immensely suffering yes. to a greater level or to a lesser level in terms of stress they're suffering, in terms of problems they encounter they're suffering, in, pro in terms of challenges that they face they're suffering. But what I feel is needed is problems will occur, challenges would occur in life, that is a part of life. But how is it that you are dealing with it? Mm. What is your state when you deal with those problems? Are you feeling suffocated? Are you feeling entrenched by those problems? But are you having the ability and capability to move yourself mm. into a yes. more peaceful place as you address the problem? When you're so distressed within, we only create more distress outside. So, and we are not in a position to handle those problems. We don't have clarity as to how to deal with those problems. So it is absolutely necessary to bring attention to one's inner state. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely necessary right now to practice meditation, to practice and to have the wisdom to get into a beautiful state, to live a life free of stress as you move through life. And we often hear the word acceptance. Acceptance. But what does acceptance mean? Uh, succumb, uh, give up, or let go? Uh, all. <laughs> it is not succumbing to pressure. It is not succumbing to life's challenges. It is not giving up hope, but letting go of the obsessive states, letting go of anger, letting go of hurt, letting go of the inner fight, the inner war. So it is not letting go of your will to live, it is not letting go of your will to handle the problem, but it is letting go of the obsessive states in which oh. you are clogged up in. Okay. That is acceptance. Okay. Uh, what do uh, people discover by attending the field of abundance? Uh, how can the experience of life be transformed? Field of abundance is one of the first initial journeys at the ONO Academy where people experience beautiful states. That is, your consciousness is nurtured with the seeds of mm -hmm. calm, connection and creation. What happens when these seeds are nurtured in your consciousness is you become a better partner, you become a better parent, you become a better individual capable of creating greater abundance in your life. You are an individual who will be free from all that is hurting you in your past and you also live in a state where there is no inner war. That means you have a lot more time, you have a lot more creativity, a lot more experience of freedom, a lot more experience of space within. So this actually, this transformation flows into the world. Because you are acting, you're going to, you are going to make decisions, you're going to make choices, you're going to act in a way which is going to cause greater good, good in the world around you. Okay. So it's actually in a transformation to create a better life for yourself yes. and also a better world around you.
how ONO Academy uh, could impact on world politics. What a leader needs right now is to move away from feeling separate. Of course, everyone in this world needs to be moving away from a separation-driven thinking. If you look at the situation of the current world, there is so much of suffering because everybody is dividing everywhere. You are dividing against another. You're feeling separate from another. So it is important that we move away from the separation-driven thinking. As a leader, it becomes a more a responsibility to live in a state of consciousness where you feel connected. Mm -hmm. Your actions must emerge from a place of connection with people. Your actions must emerge from a place of being connected to the organization, to the being connected to your nation, to the people in your nation and the people in the world. The leader has a greater responsibility to live in a beautiful state, in a beautiful state of connection rather than being separation driven. When you are separation driven, there is actually nothing you can contribute. Yes. When you are thinking about yourself, when you're always divided within, there is no contribution that you can make to the society. As an individual who is in a position of being a leader, you need to awaken to feeling more connected to everything around you, feeling more connected within yourself, feeling more connected with the people whom you work with, feeling more connected to the country, feeling more connected to the people of your country that is absolutely needed if you are a leader and if you're, re you're really looking at impacting the lives of people. Okay. Can you give us a little practice to move the people from stress? Absolutely. Thank you. Whenever you get into a place of experiencing an inner disturbance, whenever you feel you're unsettled, and you feel you're totally distracted from life, uh, please do this practice. It is a serene mind practice. It does not take very long to do this practice. It's just a three minute practice that will leave you in a place of calm. Close your eyes. Bring attention to your breath. Inhale and exhale deep and slow. What is the exact emotion that is arising within you right now? Is it fear, anger, frustration, irritation, sorrow or sadness? Or are you experiencing love, joy, connection? Peace or calm? Identify the exact emotion that is arising within you. As this emotion is arising within you, observe the movement of your mind. Are you obsessed about the past? Are you obsessed about your future? Or are you in the present moment?
Now see a flame move from the middle of your forehead to the center of your skull. And see this flame glow in the middle of your skull. Bring a smile to your face. And open your eyes. This is a very simple practice. But as you bring constant attention to your inner state, your state would transform. So continue doing this practice whenever you feel very disturbed. Namaste.